I'm going to do something different. Not really. I don't know what that means, but... but You'll hear it. We'll, You'll hear it. Jim, as you know, I'm 40 <clears throat> years old, and I'm really fighting the wrinkles. I've got them here. I've got them here. I don't want them anywhere else. And I keep hearing about collagen. Will this help me? Well, Karen, first of all, let's talk about what collagen is. So collagen is a protein, and in fact, it's the most abundant structural protein in our bodies. And what I mean by that, it, it forms um, kind of the backbone, if you will, of our skeleton and connective tissue, the, the, the elasticity, maintains elasticity in our skin, you know, tendons, ligaments. Um, and, and collagen is made up of three, primarily three different amino acids. Okay. So glycine, proline, and hydroxyproline. So any protein is actually just strings of amino acid, and, and these particular uh, amino acids, when they're combined, they form long strands, and then they're twisted together, through three of them together, what's called a triple helix. So think of a strand of rope. So that rope is what actually get, gives it the structural integrity, okay. right? Um, and we have cells within our connective tissue, within those bones and ligaments and muscles and tendons called fibroblasts, which actually are the, what actually help produce, our bodies produce and maintain the collagen. The problem is, as we go, grow older, that collagen starts to fragment. Think of a rope that starts to fray. Um, the fiber baths don't work quite as well as they used to, so, so collagen production slows down. And then, so you combine kind of the aging process with some other lifestyle, uh, lifestyle that can in negatively impact collagen, particularly smoking and, and chronic sun exposure. Um, that's when you start to see the wrinkles. Well, okay, so there's bone broth out there. Will this help? It does say it's drinkable, so that would right. be easy. <laughs> right, right. And then, of course, the supplements. You see the pills or you see the powders. Sure, sure. I, I mean, can I just, is that like the super highway to more collagen? Well, so it, it's interesting, and that's a, that's a great question because, you know, you would think if I, if I take a scoop of this, all of a sudden it's going to stimulate my body to make more collagen. That's right. Tomorrow and the yeah, wrinkles yeah. are gone. That's, that's not how it works, right? So... When we ingest, if you were to ingest collagen, just in its, just some cow tendon, right, uh, which is collagen, um, our bodies don't magically absorb the collagen. Those proteins are broken down in our intestine to their individual amino acids, and those amino acids are, are absorbed. And then, and then those are the structure, kind of the building blocks that we need to make the collagen. Now, bone broth, the, these collagen supplements, they happen to have a high concentration of the glycine, the proline, and hydroxyproline. So, so they don't stimulate collagen growth, but they, they help support collagen production because they've got the right amino acids uh, that, that, that we need to build that, right? And by the way, the, the best way to, to stimulate collagen growth, now not in the skin, but in general, is, is exercise, actually, because, for example, when you start lifting weights and our muscles get stronger, our tendons and ligaments need to strengthen as well to support that extra, you know, th that muscular strength. Sure. And so that will stimulate collagen growth to make those tendons and ligaments more robust. Well, are there foods that can do this? There are. And in fact, um, the, the, the foods that have this same kind of mix of these, these building blocks, these amino acids, include things like quinoa, uh, legumes like like beans or, or you know, soybeans in particular, um, nuts and seeds ha have a lot of the same kind of building blocks. And in addition, there, there's some other cofactors we need to help our bodies make that collagen. And in particular, it's vitamin C, zinc, and copper. Now, vitamin C obviously is easy to get from your diet with, you know, citrus fruits and it's bell easy. peppers, yeah. things like that. But guess which foods are high in the zinc and copper? It's the exact same foods that have the building blocks we need to make collagen. And so really what we're talking about here, if, if you're trying to set your body up to make collagen kind of optimally, it's, it's the idea is to have the right building blocks in place. So what we're talking about is the package that those building blocks come in. So you can get them here, right? Mm -hmm. But what else do you get when you, when, you, when you get your collagen building blocks in here? Well, nothing, right? How much fiber is in this bone broth? Well, let's look. Well, zero, right? right. Uh, how much fiber is in that, that protein powder or collagen powder, you know, zero. None. What about the quinoa and the, the beans? Tons of fiber. Yeah, right. And what else? There's cancer-fighting phytonutrients, antioxidants. So getting 
these collagen building blocks in, in a package of whole foods is going to be much more important because not only is it going to help smooth out those wrinkles, it's going to keep you from getting can it help may help keep keep you from getting cancer, diabetes, help maintain a healthy weight, on and on. So it's really the package that the building blocks come in that we need to focus on. Okay, okay, I think I'm getting it. So now that we know the foods that support collagen production, let me show you one of my favorite salads that will hopefully help smooth out some of this business right here. All yeah? right. You want to get cooking? Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready to smooth out some wrinkles? Let's do it. All right. This is my collagen supporting. Yeah, let's call it that. Supporting salad. There we Whatever. Go. If it's going to be really delicious. Okay. So the, we have a bowl of quinoa, cooked quinoa to start. And uh, let's throw some of that lemon juice in there if That's you wouldn't the mind. That's the vitamin C, right? Then yeah. we need the cofactor. That's right. Collagen production. The activator? The activator. It's actually a cofactor, technically. But okay. Yeah, well, you're the doc, so whatever. Yeah. And I have don't this. Whatever. <laughs> don't have, don't whatever me. <laughs> Look at this perfect. This, oh, wow. You never see, right? Wow. It's so rare that we see um, avocados this perfectly How ripe. How is it avocados are like too firm, too firm, too firm, brown, right? right. It's like, like, it's like 10 minutes of peak freshness. And Honestly, you happen to find one, right? How lucky did we get? Okay. Yeah, exactly. Now we have some green stuff there. That's cilantro. Throw that in for me, please. All right. I'm just going to add half of this avocado. And red onion. Red onion. And chickpeas after that, please. I mean, can you please say yes, chef? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. chef. Yes, chef. Okay. Sorry. Thank Sorry, you. chef. Thank you. Sorry, chef. <laughs> <laughs> Little tomatoes. And some edamame. edamame. I always edamame say. Soy beans. Yes, right? soy, soy beans. beans. Oh my gosh, these are so delicious. Look how pretty that is. Now, you add, please, some freshly cracked pepper from that uh, really awesome pepper mill. Who made this? Oh, I made that. <laughs> and this, I thought so. Yeah. And then this is balsamic vinegar. You don't have to go fancy pants with this. You can buy whatever you like. And then I put in just a pinch of salt. It's up to you, but I, I think that it just kind of finishes things off. And then take a big spoon, give that a nice toss. And I understand, I know how hungry you are right now. I like to wait an hour just for all the flavors to kind of marry. But you're not going to do yeah, that. Yeah, probably not going to happen. Probably <laughs> not going to happen because I, uh, I haven't had lunch yet, and yeah. this looks delicious. I mean, you know, honestly, this is something I could keep. I would keep in my refrigerator mm -hmm. to snack on. Totally. You know, yeah. so amazing. Yeah, this would really help you set yourself up for success That's when you're exactly trying right. to eat healthier and right. smooth out those wrinkles, feel more youthful, look more youthful. All right, you ready? I know. Ready. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right, let's give this a, a, give a try there. here. Mm. So, so good. good. <laughs> All right. Well, if we would love to help you smooth out your wrinkles, fight time, unlock the secrets of a longer, healthier life. Join us at the Center for Plant-Based Living as a member. The link is below. We'll see you next time.